grab a seat at the campfire as we embark on Kingdom Creator, as this is the third version of Gog, who appeared in the Justice Society of America ongoing series. In the new multiverse, the events of the Kingdom Come limited series take place on Earth-22. That's the world's version of Superman arrived on New Earth following the destruction of Earth-22. Gog appears soon after the other Superman's arrival. Gog gruesomely slaughters metahuman criminals who have claimed to be gods by blasting holes through their chests and disintegrating their hearts. Some of his kills include the criminals Goth and Chroma, and a group of beings calling themselves the New Olympians. The Infinity Man and Hercules were two who survived his onslaught. After facing off against the Infinity Man, he attacked Sandman, who was spying on him, before taking on the Justice Society. This version of Gog is a priest named William Matthews, who received his powers from an underground citadel in Africa and took the name Gog which was the name of the last surviving god of the third world. He also claims that Superman on Earth-22 let Kansas die and is implied several times to be a recon version of the character appearing in the name of God story above. With his background changed due to the events of the Infinity Crisis, when the Justice Society follow him back to the Citadel, his body is absorbed by a stone face on the wall. The stone face rises, becoming a massive stone man adorned in gold who claims to be the one true God. This God, chronologically the first one, is an exile of the third world who was unwilling to take sides in the final battle of the old gods and was cast off as a result. He then plunged into the bleed and traveled through various alternate universes until he landed on New Earth. In Earth, his consciousness lingered in the stone and lava. A local tribe built a staff out of his remnants, enabling a user to channel Gog's energy. The staff was later found by William Matthews, who claimed that the name Gog, upon being revived, Gog claims that Matthews wasn't his servant and that Matthews had been driven mad by visions of the multiverse, including having visions of events on Earth-22. This version of Gog displays a cheerful, childlike, peaceful personality. He claims he is happy to be alive and compelled to make things good again. He saves an African village near his citadel from the effects of toxic contamination from the lava that contain the essence and heals, damages the figured face in response to his skepticism. God then sends Sandman to a blissful, dream-filled sleep for 24 hours, cures Starman of his schizophrenia, gives Dr. Midnight his sight back, and sends Power Girl home. God then hears the noises of war going on on nearby and vows to stop it. Finding a small village under attack by a rogue militia, Gog transformed the soldiers into trees during the conflict. Lance, one of the JSA's new recruits, is hit by a rocket launcher, blasts, and killed. Gog brings Lance back to life, replacing his ruined arm with gold armor and renames him Magog. Later, Gog's intentions to move on to the Middle East and punish the warmongers there in the same fashion as the militia members caused the Justice Society to split in half. With Hawkman, Magog, Damage, Wildcat, that's Tom Bronson, Amazing Man, Judo Master, and Citizen Steel taking Gog's side. Like the biblical God, he asked for rest. He asked for rest on the seventh day, sending some of his followers back to America to preach his will. At the same time, the rest of the JSA who did not choose to follow Gog have started to realize that Gog wishes have various negative side effects. Starman fears that he cannot complete his mission in the past with his sanity intact. The loss of Sandman's prophetic dreams has cost him one of his greatest edges in hunting criminals. Dr. Midnight feels hindered by the loss of his unique sight after so long with him. Power Girl finds that she has been sent to a new Earth too with existing counterpart for herself and while damage cannot see it, his restored face makes him increasingly vain and arrogant. Dismissing his past to the point, burning down his father's home while constantly checking out his reflection in mirrors and believing that people only want to talk to him because he is so handsome. After the last day apart, God collects the heroes again, asking them gleefully to kneel down and worship him while he brings in a new world. The rest of the JSA arrive having learned from Sandman that Gog is rooting himself into the earth and if he remains for one more day, the earth will die if he leaves, leaving them with one option of killing Gog and separating his head from the earth. 
Hawkman and the rest of the society following God attempt to protect him until they see him attempt to transform Jay Garrick into lightning. All of God's followers turn against him and God punishes the society by taking away his gifts. To an extreme degree, Citizen Steel now feels pain in all of his nerves and Starman can't be cured of his madness. Even Magog eventually turns on him, for which God's blessing on him is also undone. Citizen Steel breaks God's leg with a single punch and eventually the JSA are able to topple God and cut off his head. The Superman of Earth-22 and Starman take the still living head to the source wall embedding it there for all eternity. God accuses Superman of being exactly what, accused, what he accused God of being. So with that said, I am your comic connoisseur at the campfire. So just go full nerd mode by clicking on like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell to be notified when new content has been uploaded. Then you will be crowned an official TNN comic connoisseur. I'm Rob for Elm City Comic Book Collectors, and I'm out. Peace.